So your name's James Williams. Were you named for anybody in your family or your mom just liked that lit name? James Williams Jr. His, he was in the First World War in uh, France, and he left me that uh, ring. The numbers were still on. I've had it done twice. The initials J W. And then it was my brother Milton. He was in the during the forties, the other war. And then I was in the, the Korean War. You were in the Korean War. And uh, during the Korean War, I didn't make it because they didn't go there. They went to England. Were you in England for a long time? I was I was in four years at all. Oh. I went to England and Germany and, and a lot of those countries over there. What kind of work did you do when you came back? I was a little bit of everything. <laughs> I was, when, when I went to uh, California, I was stationed in California and I was an honor guard for a year at the Presidio. Oh my gosh. And then I came home and uh, got a job at Bird's Eye for nine years. Oh, interesting. And then I went from Bird's Eye to um, NASA, and I stayed there 30 years. <laughs> First I was um, a guard at the gate, and then they wanted me to uh, be a mailman. So I took the job as mailman, and um, made it fine. But the only thing about it, we, had, uh, we each one of us had a retirement that we put so much money in. And the bank went up and took it all, oh, twice. Yeah. Really? So I don't get nothing from there. I only use my Social Security. Yeah. Huh. And I make eight or eight. Some. Uh, I bought this home. This house here. It was a guy over there was looking for a place to live in his and and uh, he was going with this girl, and she was trying to help him find a place over here, about fifty dollars a month. <laughs> so she, he ca he called me. He said, um, "I'm all related over Shinkatig, and I live on Willow Street next to the doctor's office." And he said, "I thought you said you, uh, this man, your aunt had a house she wouldn't sell." I said, "She did." He said, "Well, you get it, and I've already moved over here, and I'll help you fix it up." So that was this one. Oh. And it was sitting on the ground, one block high, and I raised it up myself. It had no foundation under it. It was just sitting on the ground on that on that block. Hmm. I put it up three blocks high, hmm. and from that was there I had on to it. Well, you have a beautiful home, and that you've got such an eclectic collection of things outside. Yeah, you've been collecting things, I guess, your whole she, life. She, that one on that end is the one that is still living. This one, sister. She's the only sister living, and the other boy. Dale, he's here. No worry, right here. Uh huh. He's still living. He lives in Parksley. And where's your sister live? And the rest of them are all gone. This one, your sister that's she still. She lives in uh, Bloxham. Bloxham. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Kay, her name is Kay. Kay. Beautiful family you got there. It's obvious your parents loved loved you. She always um, kept us clean and neat and respectful sister said they she came home she said mom they asked everybody in the class what my father did and I told him he was retarded <laughs> and my mother said honey he's not retarded he's retarded well she said I didn't know no difference oh my gosh that's so funny and she just died not too long ago at 70 mm -hmm. she had something out of her stomach she lived in Virginia Beach and she was a secretary for a, a, a lawyer. And she called me and she said, James, I'm going to go to the hospital. I said, my stomach's been hurting me so bad. And uh, I said, okay. She said, when I get there and get straight night, I'll give you the telephone number. And the nurse got on there after she stopped talking and said, honey, said she's, her heart is going to pieces. Said she's not going to make it tonight. So she was dead for a while. Oh, wow. Both your parents, did they were they born here on Shinkatig? Yeah. 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 
James, you had such a, a anyway, big, beautiful anyway, family. I called her every day at 7 o'clock, but when uh, that cowboy movie was on, and uh, talked to her. Yeah. And I miss her life every day. I bet. You had a big, beautiful family. Now, the home that's in this photograph, you said it's just down the street? It's, uh, when you go out here at the end of this, uh, you can see it. It's a white bungalow. Oh. And my father uh, got $14,000, uh, let's see. Fourteen hundred dollars, uh, uh, what do they call it? Not retirement. Anyway, he got fourteen hundred dollars from the government when he when he got out of the army, mm -hmm. and he uh, had that bungalow. His father gave him a sixty foot by a hundred foot, a land, and he built that house on oh, it. Oh, okay. It had two bedrooms upstairs and two bedrooms downstairs, a living room, a porch and a nice kitchen, dining room. Well, it's a good thing all your brothers and sisters got along. That's a lot of kids in that never house. I never heard none of them fuss and go on the whole time I ever lived. Yeah, very good. So you lived around here your whole life. We were interested to hear that um, Camp Fletcher was just a little bit down the street here. What do you remember about that? Oh, Camp Fletcher, Camp yeah. Fletcher. I used to go over there and uh, they would give me, if they had a certain amount of bread, instead of throwing it away, they would ask me if I thought my mother would like to have it. And they would get some more in place of it. Mm -hmm. So I did it a couple times, and they would bring it over there, big loaves of bread, and you had to cut it off yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew just about everybody in there. We'd go to the canteen and buy candy, and they'd have a movie there every so often and all that. And it, they were really nice to us and we were nice to them. How many soldiers would you say were there? A guess, maybe. Uh, probably at least 50 or 60. Okay. Yeah. My sister Ruby, in that picture, she married a guy from Pennsylvania. He was a soldier. Mm -hmm. And that right here. Mm -hmm. She married a guy from Pennsylvania, and he had two kids, and uh, his name was Alan Barr. We all got along. I don't, know, I don't remember any of us ever fussing with each other. I heard they trained. In Christmas time, oh. we'd have, uh, we'd have uh, two, uh, our socks and hang them over the chair, and we'd always got something or other, even though it wasn't much, but it was. And she always had a big dinner. Did you have a favorite dinner that she cooked for you? Other than chicken dumplings. <laughs> that sounds like a good one to me. So my mother sometimes she'd say, um, Jim, she said, if anybody wants to give you a goose at the Christmas time, she said, you take it and we'll have it for Thanksgiving or Christmas. <laughs> so they'd do it sometimes. Yeah. That's good. I was standing here one day and there's a goose flew on that building over there. And it kept honking and honking and honking. And this lady come by and I said, how would you like to have a goose? She said, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to solve that problem. <laughs> That's good. I was innocent, really. Yeah. <laughs> she always kept it clean. Yeah, but did she make you a birthday cake? Most of the time, yeah. Yeah. Do you like that? She, she, as a fly on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't swallow me. <laughs> He's ready. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> what else you want to know? We're just curious oh, about my, your life. My, my grandfather used to own all this road down here, a lot of land on this side. When I bought this house for $550, this little cottage. And uh, my aunt, my, have my uh, aunt had one son, and he had that house. And my cousin lives in that house, and my cousin lived in that house, and my uncle lived that corner down there, and my cousin lived in the next house, and my uncle lived in the next house, <laughs> and my aunt lived in the next one. All clean up I'm to the pony farm on both sides, my cousins Sorry. and aunts and uncles lived. This was Williamstown. Do you remember uh, Curtis Allen and Goldie? Mm, well, they lived on. They lived up here on the second house. He's the one uh, I bought that from. Oh, I don't the know. The first house there. 
Well, the Allens lived on the $300. corner. $300. Oh, I saved up for whoa. it. Whoa. Did they carve that Burton, himself? Burton man. We'll have to get a picture of that. You yeah. Hello, Polly. Hello, Polly. Hello. <laughs> it's Polly beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I Father. just put that up this year. They wanted a, almost $100 for me to get a permit to uh, fin uh, put a roof on this here. $100? Close to it, yeah. On this? This part yeah, right yeah. here? Oh. No, not this. Uh, uh, I want to put a porch on it. I see. You know, the tin porch. That, with yeah. the way the prices are right now, Mr. Williams, terrible, I would I jump it. on it. Yeah. <laughs> it seems pretty inexpensive. And I got my own teeth, too. <laughs> they look good. <laughs> That's good. That's something to be proud of. What's the Any name of the... Anytime what bar them, you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> this man next door, he died. But anyway, he he wanted me to go with him. His wife, he died quite a while ago. And um, he asked me to go to the food line with him each morning, well, each, whenever he went. So he, he said, well, one day he called me. He said, would you go with me to the doctor? I had two, but I'm going to walk, I'm going to, I'm going to um, food line first. And I said, well, I can't go now because I got to go somewhere else. But if you want to borrow my teeth, I'll let you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's good. Well, you kept your sense of humor. When you were a kid, did you go out much on the water and, and fish or go oystering and clamming and all that? Okay. Chicken and we had a lot of fried chicken because we raised them. I don't know, we had something over dinner. Over dinner, we had something different. Did you have a little boat or a scow to go no, in the water? You did no. not. We had, I had a little pony, black white pony one time. Oh, yeah? Oh. I only did $25 for it. And the kids used to go over and, and um, come over and ride it. It was black and white. Yeah. Finally, it got tarred. We killed him and ate him. Really? Now. No. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and you went to school. The uh, the school was right here on this street. Yeah, we walked so that back, was walk back and convenient. forth. Convenient. Yeah. So everything you needed right here. Where would you go for for groceries and things like that? Uh, it was a man by the name of Leon Jester, and then there was a store right here, oh. across the road. Huh. I bought that land a long time ago from my aunt. After I bought this here, got it paid for. I think my payments for a dollar, uh, I got it, $127 a month. I bought it from the bank and paid them so much a month. Anyway, uh, then my aunt and uncle died, they owned the land, and they bought it from me. I bought it from them, that land over there, all the way back, and I sold it to my, uh, I sold it to my nephew, who lives in Minneapolis, Minnesota, 60 foot wide. And it goes back 300 foot. You, nice you, you know Skeet, Skeet Williams, taxi mm -hmm. driver? Mm -hmm. Well, it goes back to his where he used to have his land. And I sold that. It was too much for me to, uh, to cut and everything. It's a nice piece of property if he sells huh? it. It's a nice piece of property. Yeah. He'll be able to yeah. sell it with no problem at all. It's nice and all. high. It's got a little pond over on the side. I think his is 85. The rest of them are 60 foot. You were talking about your dad. Was he the game warden over he at... He was the game warden too, but first he was over there. And, uh, he was a game warden for so long. And then he got... When he first went over there, he was game manager. And he was like a game warden. I mean, a game manager for quite a while. She brings my lunch here a lot of times in the evening. And I'll be sitting here and she says, I can't stay, I'll just go give you this. And and then the Babs' church, they, they send me a lunch. So you, I've been you, having trouble with my legs. You spend a lot of time out here on the porch, and we decided to do this out here even though we've got traffic going back and forth. I know. And we hear ho cars honking their horn at you. They must all know you're going to be sitting out here. You're a popular man. You want to see the picture? Yes, of course. <laughs> I'll take that from you. I could tell you all of the names. Did you go, to, when you went to the school, did everybody walk? Okay. No, that later on they had a bus. Oh yeah. We, we always walked. We didn't have a bus, but with the school bus, we go by here and pick them up. 
on each side and all that. And the water used to come up real deep on each side. Yeah. There it is. And at last time, and when we went to school, uh, you couldn't come home and you could go uh, to the store, uh, Wilbur Twilly. And you get all kinds of food, you get real easy. <laughs> Cheap, I mean, yeah. like 10 cents worth or this and that. Then I'll go home and I'll say, Mom, I need 10 cents. Well, make sure you bring the change back. <laughs> That Twilly store, was that up on Main Street, or where was that? It was right across the street from the new, our old school. Oh. Wilbur Twilly store, where right the church. Oh, yes, oh, I do yeah, know yeah. where that was, right. Right, right. alongside it. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. It used to be a, a, a church of, um, Catholic church. We used to go there and eat lunch. Right. Certain times they'd have a lunch there, and people could go there and eat. I remember that now that you mention it. I have some some yeah. good photographs of that. I um, can't think of what they called it. It had a name. The the building? That's the whole old building. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, kids would go there to get their lunch and I heard they could get a pickle. Yeah. Out of yeah. a barrel, right? Yeah, for, for, <laughs> for about a quarter. Yeah. So well, you could bring yeah. could you bring your own lunch? Could you bring a bag lunch? Yeah. How long have you been living in Shinkatee? We moved here in 1976. 76. And you lived you were from where then? My parents are from New York. New York. From My mom's from Long Island. Do they say New York? Or New York. <laughs> New York. <laughs> Long Island. <laughs> I love it. I know a lot of people from New York. Yeah. Well, they, they moved here in part because Shinkatee back then was reminiscent of, of when they grew up on Long Island. It was, uh, yeah. Back then, Long Island was all fishing towns, and, and not, it's not that way anymore. <laughs> but, uh, so Shinkatik reminded them of home. Do you see your neighbors much now? You have some vacation homes here, but do you know any of I your know, neighbors I know, now? I don't know. <laughs> no, things have changed in town for sure. For I'll sure. try to keep everything halfway decent. But since I've uh, got older, elderly, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how old are you? My mother was only 69 when she died. 69. And how old are you now? She, huh? How old are you now? I can't tell you. It's a secret. It's a secret? What, what can I do to get that secret 92. Out of you? 92. Do you feel 92? You, no. you seem uh, very spry. I'll be oh, 93 January 7th. I think you said you were birth. Laura here, her birthday is January oh, okay. 2nd. Yeah. And yours is the seventh. I'm a December baby. <laughs> Six. This is your what? Ruth. Oh. We're just friends. I was here the other day. I know you were, because uh, you run up here hard as you come. <laughs> Had you ever seen the black squirrels? I have. Well, this buddy of mine I was telling you about, he was going up to uh, put a deck on a man's house up in uh, Brand Brandywine, Maryland. And he asked me, he said, uh, do you like pecan nut tri no, uh, nuts? And I said, yeah, I like them. He said, well, if the if squirrels don't eat them up, I'll get you some. <laughs> and when he come back, I said, squirrels, what kind of squirrels? He said, black ones. And I said, I sure would like to have a pair. <laughs> and they bought me a pair. I gave him a cage and they bought me a pair. <laughs> but it was two males and a female. And I uh, kept them in the yard for quite a while in a pen. And the two black, two white, uh, the two males were fighting, and finally one of them died. So I took them down there and made a pen and let them stay for about three or four months. And my brother came over, he said, why don't you let them out? And I said, well, I might as well. So I let them out. And the next time I saw them, they were over at Albert Knox. You were where Albert Knox lived, that house. Yeah. They were on the roof. And uh, this woman came in to work for NASA and she said, Jimmy, just think, or what, you realize what I saw this morning? I said, what? I said, uh, what did you see? I uh, Probably a pair, a pair of uh, black squirrels. She said, how did you know it? I said, because <laughs> I, turned, I turned away. It was Shirley Jester. You yeah. know Shirley Jester? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was up there. Well, anyway, I don't have any around here now because the cars killed them all. 
probably told all their friends not to come over here. You're going to put them in a pen. <laughs> I know it. I see them once in a while on Willow. I've seen a black squirrel on Willow. Uh, it's still some somewhere here. Yeah. I've heard. Yeah. But that's what I, I never I had it written down somewhere when I let them out, but I couldn't find it. What what wedge to the piggy went to market? <laughs> that's that's what my father used to say to him. Right. You are amazing. You've got quite the memory there. So while you're growing up, you lived here on Shinkatee. Oh, I life. also had a uh, crossroad. I bought that land. Yes. And um, I had a ceramic shop in there. I painted that. That was a long time. I painted a lot of them. But oh, that's the only thing, shop. That's oh, the only thing I got. Yeah. Right across the street here? Uh-huh. Oh, interesting. It used to be at my aunt's store. I think I told you that. Yes, yes. Well, pay attention, will you? I, I didn't know you made huh? ceramics. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> that's why your yard's so pretty. So you, you lived in England for about four years, Germany and all that. But other than that, did you live on Shinkatee your lived whole life? I've lived in here. Uh, and what now? Other than going in the in the military, yeah. the Korean War, you moved to England, you spent some time in Germany. Have you lived on Shinkatik your whole life? Yeah, yeah. So anything, any fond memories? It was from four of us in the service. It was four, it was my father and then uh, my brother Milton, he was in the Coast Guard, and me and my brother Daryl. And he had that Asian orange and they died. Oh. He died real young after he got his service. He was married to some girl. I don't know what her name was, but they had two kids, a boy and a girl. Hardly ever see him. Mm. They live here? No, no, they live up in Salisbury, I no. think. And everything is by it. <laughs> That's it. So you, you spend your time here. Do you have a lot of visitors? I don't have not many anymore. Most all of them are dead now. I see you sitting out here a lot, though. So every once in a while, I, said I, hear a I lot. see yeah. folks stop by yeah. and see you. You're, you get a lot of company that just pass by. Yeah, it's quite a few, but not a whole lot. Not as many as, you know, winter time is really. I don't have many people. We'll have to get you. I out. go to Baptist <laughs> Church once in a while, but I don't mm -hmm. go much. Mm -hmm. It's just because I can't hear. Do you ever go to the Mana Cafe at the at the Methodist Church? When they have their lunch on Mondays? What's the name of it? Uh, the Methodist Church has a, a lunch on Mondays. I used to go, yeah. but I don't go no more. But I have, every once in a while, some lady brings me a dinner. Yeah, they, they'll bring you a, a meal from there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. That's nice of them people do that. It is. We're about Camp what else you want to know? I want to know more about Camp Fletcher. We're going to maybe do a little... You know um, where exhibit. Dr. Amron's house was? Yes. Okay, well that thing right there. So what do you remember? It had a canteen, you said. All the way in the back, mm -hmm. where one of them houses are. And um, you know where at Curtis Allen and Goldie live? Yes. Well, there was right, it was another uh, barracks there. It was one on that side and one on this side, and then in the middle was the medical center. What do you think they did there? It was uh, the army, right? So yeah. what did they do there? Were they training or? I don't know what they did, really. Did they have a lot of dogs there? Yeah. I heard there were dogs. Uh, they, uh, I think they were stationed, most of them, up in Princess Anne. Well, I'm not for sure. They and they'd come back and forth. Mm -hmm. But they had barracks where they stayed all the time. Now, my brother-in-law, Alan Barr, was a dog trainer. He treated people all like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I keep falling for these. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> so how, do you, how long do you think Camp Fletcher was there? It wasn't very long. I think I was only 11 or 12, so that's... I can't remember, really. Mm. Did they bring in other soldiers? They would say, uh, the, if different ones would come here, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause my mother, they, my mother used to, um, one of the guys, it was two of them, was going with my, one of my sisters. And his name was Clement, 
and my mother named him Clement. My name's the baby Clement. Oh, oh, interesting. She must have liked him a lot. Because he was always coming over and sitting on the porch or something. And uh, my father said, what are you going to name that uh, baby? And uh, she said, I think I'll name him after that boy that comes over here all the time. So that's what she named him. That's nice. And he had heart trouble. Mm. And he died real young. The baby? Your brother? Huh? Your brother died young? Yeah. yeah. Clement did. Yeah. And I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, Mr. Mr. Clement, <laughs> how many buildings do you think were there for what? Camp Fletcher? How many buildings? At Camp Fletcher. Yeah, how many buildings? Yeah. It was one building on this side. Yeah. Let's see. One, one, two, three, right, four, imagine. Are these four buildings? Yeah. It was a, a, a barracks where they eat your lunch, right. mess hall, and then it was a, a doctor's uh, where they had a, a, a man there to treat him in the middle there. Not a big building, but bite like this here, not this big. Anyway, um, that and then the other ones on the outside road. It was to where they slept. They had a big sign out in front, Camp Fletcher. Mm -hmm. I got a picture somewhere of it, but I can't, I don't know where it's at. Well, Ruth showed me a picture when they had their grand opening, and it said 1,500 people came to celebrate the opening of Camp Fletcher. That's a whole lot of people. Who said that? It was in the newspaper. newspaper. I don't remember that. 1,500 people. Do you remember a flagpole and they were all walking around the flagpole? It was a big flagpole right in front. Mm -hmm. And, a, and a, a big um, sign said Camp Fletcher. Because mm. well, my sister was sitting, uh, standing right in front and I took a picture. But I don't know how many was there. I think they came down here for training. Yeah, That's know, all I know. We don't know much about it. We don't huh? know much about it at all. Most of the boys were really good. Where did the boys come from? Different places. Pennsylvania and New York and all over. Mostly Ruth. from their mother. <laughs> Ruth, you did it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, Ridge Road didn't go that far because I looked at an old picture and the fort was really right through where Ridge Road is now. Uh -huh. So, do you remember when they made that extension on Ridge Road to come through there? I don't, I don't know when that is either. 70s, 60s? Oh, yeah, she lived on Shakedig all her life. Off and on. Off and on. On the Bowden. The Bowden. Yeah. But I don't, I only live here part of the time. <coughs> remember, do you remember Lanny Taylor? Did you know um, <laughs> the one that used to hold sand all the time? Oh, I don't know. Down the ridge. I don't know. You don't know? Um, mm. I can't think of his name now. One of the guys, one of the Biden guys married a girl from England where I was stationed. I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that story too. I forget who it is. And I talked to her yesterday. She was in the McDonald's. Uh-huh. And she said, come here. <laughs> and I went over there and talked to her. She said, how you doing? And I said, I'm doing pretty good. She said, um, I said, how long has it been since you've been to England? She said, I haven't been there in years. Everybody's dead but two people, my cousins. Mm. They're all, the rest of them are gone. And her husband's dead. That was about all of us said. Yeah. I don't know who that was. The only Bowden I can think of is Iris Bowden, yeah. but that's not the right, that's not the right age. Ed, Ed Biden, did you know Ed Biden? No, that's not. For right. younger, did you spend much time in the downtown? Was that a place you would go no, to? My, yeah, they always uh, congregated in town in the summer. Where? I used to go to Pony Pines and dance with Kitty Murray. Pony Pines. Now oh, we're talking yeah, big time. time. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my God! I remember Pony Pines. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah. The very little drinking I did. I, I might have a beer or something, one, but I never. I never, uh, I never did drink much. My parents loved Pony Pines for sure. Did it have the, the bowling there when you were a kid? Next door. Next door, okay. Yeah. I saw pictures of that. That was quite quite the place, place to go to. to go. On, I on used to go with Sunday this girl uh, from Portland, Maine. I went with her three years. She Wait. didn't want to get married right away. 
Her mother, her mother and her came down here to visit her sister. Her sister's husband was an Air Force guy. And um, she they came down and stayed a while, and then her mother wanted to go back home. So, but she stayed here, and I've dated her for two years or more. And um, we had a lot of plans, and all of a sudden she said, I'm going to go back home to see my mother, and I'll be back. Well, about a week later, the woman where she lived on Jester Street called me and she said, James, she said, uh, have you heard from Merlin lately? And uh, I said, no, I haven't. Well, you come over, I got something to show you. So she showed me a picture of her. She married this, her old boyfriend. Oh, oh my wow. Gosh. Oh, that is a made for TV movie. <laughs> Maybe she did you and a that favor. that was the end of that. <laughs> you probably were better off, right? Yeah. Tell her name me. Her name was Marion Redpath. Redpath? Red, Redpath. Huh. R-E-D-P-A-T-C-H. Yeah, Patch. I've never heard anybody with that, that yeah. name. I, I used to carry, I never smoked, but I used to carry a pack of cigarettes so I, and light them for her. Oh, you were a sweetheart. <laughs> and I never did, I never did, I was never a smoker. That's drinker. how you got to be in, in your 90s. That's how come you're so healthy. You had a good, healthy life. You didn't smoke. You hardly drank. So you've done yourself a favor. I'm curious about the um, the Powell Opera House. Did you ever go to the Powell Theater in town? Do you remember the theater? I don't know. There was a, the Powell Opera House, the, the um, Island Theater where they showed movies. And then there was yet another movie theater down the street a little bit more. Three movie houses. Huh. It was pretty I busy don't know. in town. Yeah, remember? If you wanted to go down to get ice cream, where did you go? If I wanted to go get some ice cream. Ice cream. For example, where did Uptown, you go? Uptown, but uh, you know where Bill's restaurant is? Yeah. yeah. Well, it was a little place there you go get ice cream. Off there's another mosquito. Where's McCain? No, oh, hit it side. So you're talking about Muller's that was in the uh, the Victorian house? A what? Muller's ice cream parlor that had was in like a house, a Victorian house? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Louise's, did you have a good Louise's? I was just talking about that today. Yeah. Was it Florence? Was that her sister's name? Who? Oh. Louise down the street here. They had a little shop, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember there yeah. ever being a um, like a skating rink here on the island? It was one uh, uh, by the firehouse, and then it was one across the street from the schoolhouse. It, uh, where Webber Trail had his store. Yeah. His store was on on this end, and they had the uh, skate rink over there. Hmm. I heard someone say there was one on Church Street, but I didn't yeah. know where it was. Were you ever in a play at school, at the the school here? They had this Oh, big, I went uh, to the school stage. in the back. It was a, a wooden building, a wooden mm -hmm. school. I went back and I had for quite a while. And you go in the side door and you go up a step aside and here was a uh, room over here and they had a stove, a uh, uh, pot belly stove in the middle. And then the Miss uh, Mayor's woman uh, went to school where I was teaching here. And it was, it was a room downstairs where it had to go. It was just like star steps. And the bell was right in the middle. The bell for that school is in our museum now. It's they where? Have, it's at the museum on, oh, on oh, Maddox it? Boulevard. Mm -hmm. I put two bells in there from NASA to the old station. Oh. James Williams. Uh, have they still got them there or don't you know? I don't know. Do you know? How big are those bells? Well, well, here's what happened. My brother worked over there. Him and my uncles and everything, they gave it. They were going to tear it down. And they said, anybody wants it can have it. And uh, they took it and took it apart and used it to make houses. It's a house up here was built out of it, Raymond Williams and uh, Kurt, uh, Kurt, uh, Curtis Allen. His house was built, I had lumber from it. From the life-saving station? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. On the, you know where they uh, herd the ponies yep, in? Yeah, I do. 
Well, right along there is where it was. Mm -hmm. They had two bells, one at the kitchen and one at the front door. And uh, my brother got them, both of them off the doors and took them home and they kept them and kept them and kept them. And one day I went to visit him in uh, Mears, Virginia. And uh, he said, I'm going to sell them two bells. How much you, uh, I'm going to try to get $25 for them. And I said, well, I'll buy them from you. So I bought them from him, and I was working over wallops, and uh, I was telling the man about it, and he said, you bring them in, and I'll clean them up for you. So he cleaned them up for me, and I took them home and kept them for quite a few years. And one day I said, I think I'll give them to the museum. Yeah. So as far as I know. They have a bell that's on display. As soon as we're done, I'm going to go look. It's right like that. Yep. There's one right in the exhibit there. I'm going to look as soon as we That was my last $25. <laughs> it was well worth it. Well worth it. Have you been in the museum the pony, lately? The uh, uh, mist is in there too. Yes. Actually. Have you been in there lately? Uh, we should bring you over so you can take a look sometime. You work in there. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. But you heard Misty's there. Word travels. <laughs> Mist travels. <laughs> Do you remember when they were filming it's really, that? They've really increased it, haven't they? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful in there. Yep. Do you remember Misty? Was that a big thing when you were younger? That man that had, I know, the man that had that carving, uh, that building that carved ducks and things. Mm -hmm. I used to go there all the time. He would have given me some of them if I wanted them, but I didn't even want them. Yeah. Not thinking that it would cost, didn't cost me worth a lot of money later on. <laughs> well, I've talked more today and I've talked a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> well, we like spending time with you. You're a wonderful story. Very interesting storyteller. <laughs> and funny. Yeah, who knew? <laughs> You're very funny, Mr. Williams. Well, give me a family tour. What have I got? What do you think of my little duck? I think everything out here is I got great. two little goats and I got some ducks. In the back, I'll show you later. Okay. Absolutely. My grass needs cutting bad. Both of my lawnmower. I got two lawnmowers, and both of them went up. Oh dear. You cut your own grass? Huh? Do you cut your own grass? I do in the back. About half somebody come do the front. Mm -hmm. And that all over there, my nephew, when he gets somebody to cut that grass, they come over here and do the front. And he pays for it. Well, that's good. You need people to look out for you, that's for sure. All right. Don't do anything suspicious. Okay. What was that? I'm trying to take your picture. Oh, my life. <laughs> I can't get your pretty you want me to show eyes you, in this picture. You want me to show you my teeth? Yeah. <laughs> Don't pull those out. They look good. <laughs> Very good. Funny. So we were we're talking a little bit about um, the movie that they made about Misty. When you were young, did was that a big deal? The book about Misty or the BB family? Or? I remember them making it, Misty. But I heard that Misty was named from Shinkatee. Yeah. That's what I've heard several times. Whether it's true or not, I never know. But you know, people talk and talk mm -hmm. about different things. Where do they think she's from? They said he was from or the, from some place or whatever would take pictures. Oh, well, in the movie Misty, they had a uh, another pony playing Misty. Uh, Misty at that point was fifteen years old or something like that. I think I've seen her on a horse one day, didn't I? Ruth? Yeah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going there. Your hair was swinging way back oh, in the wind. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a story here. <laughs> Could have been true. Could One of my cousins, maybe. Right. Is this, I thought you were going to get into a Lady Godiva story. Yeah, I, was, I was trying to get away with Thanks a lot. <laughs> to get away from that. I'm sure she's the one that was going by with that with a bikini on running oh. down the road. Now that might be true. I don't know. <laughs> Ruth's got a secret life. <laughs> They've been a sight this year in here. People going by with uh, uh, bikinis on and everything running. Oh, Early oh. in the morning, a lot of them. Oh, that's interesting. It's cooler then. Because I set my clock and find out. <laughs> you 
You're on top of it. Oh, well, this usually is a quiet street. I guess they're trying to, to stay out of traffic. That's good. What do you think of that pink car over there? I don't even see it. Uh, Pink. Really yellow, isn't it? Yellow. yellow. <laughs> you, I thought you were on top of things, Mr. Williams, but that's a nice car, though, whatever it is. I'm not an expert. They can't get a part for it. They've had it for ages. It belongs to his daughter. He's Him and his wife has gone on a week's vacation. Yeah, getting parts Do you ever go to the American Legion to eat? Not often, but I have been there. Oh, uh, same with me. I belong to it. I've been to it to I don't know how many years. But anyway, they're supposed to have a. They had a dinner the other day, and they bought me one. Oh, they did. Yeah, it was, it was chicken. Oh, it's chicken. I thought it was ham. They had ham. It was chicken, and I don't know what else it was, but a big piece of chicken. Lasted me for three days. <laughs> we'll have to get you a ride to go over there. Do you drive? Huh? Do you drive much? Yeah, 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 yeah. They say if you get a certain age, they take your driver's license away from you. Have you ever heard that? Uh, I would think you that... You have to take a test. Yes, I would think there's a yeah. test involved. Yeah. But if you're driving okay, I guess they so don't... So far, as far as it goes, Marie, it's... Sometimes right. they go to McDonald's. Right. Well, you seem like you're on top of it, so... They've got more bigger bigger fish to fry. There's a lot of people out there driving that really shouldn't be yeah. driving. Yeah, not 95. <laughs> no. Do you ever go off the island or you stay on the island? I do secretly. Do you? <laughs> Word's out now. <laughs> Where do you go? Huh? Where do you go? Get feed for my animals. Oh. At the uh, tractor place. Right, tractor supply. I haven't been right. to, uh, I haven't been to uh, make the, uh, I mean, um, in Pocomoke? Yeah. Like po Walmart? Walmart, Walmart, yeah. I haven't been there in ages. Yeah. You haven't been there. I used to go all the time. Well, it looks like you've got just about everything you need right here. You don't need <laughs> yeah. to yeah. shop for big things anymore. It yep. seems to me you've had a pretty nice I like your shoes. Thank you. They're brand new. Always did like blue ones. They're nice and clean. Hers are pretty cool. Hers are nice. Yours These are were nice. given to me. They've all got nice shoes on. These were given to me and I had cut... Uh, Open right here, get my feet. <laughs> they look comfortable. They are. Yeah. That's good. So shall we take a little trip? Do you have your geese in the back? A what? You got your birds out back? Can I go take a look? Yeah, I got some ducks and I got some ch chickens and I got some doves and I got two goats. I'll show you. <laughs> so cute. He's here. Oh, he's having here forever. I don't know if he's a <laughs> You've got everything. You've got doves here. They're beautiful. Wait, there's a fly over your head. I'll hate it with this. <laughs> <laughs> Could you see them uh, duck? I mean, them uh, uh, yeah. goats. I didn't see the goats. Right over here, no. Right over that way. I can hear something.